Yeah. Bur oak? It's an oak tree. Bur oak. Can you see the acorns? You got some buckwheat? Oh, no, this is something else. See that big one? Yeah. It looks like that, eh? This is a common tree. It doesn't need to get too much of a tree. There's a the ash here. Um, it's got thorns like a rose, eh? That's prickly ash. Or a yeah. Yeah, you get thicket to that around here. Uh, last year we had an invasion. I don't know if you saw anything the paper but giant swallowtail, butterflies. Kind of moved into our area for the first time in large numbers. Uh, this is the food plant that they use here. Further south they're on orange and uh, lemon trees and things like that. But of course we don't have those. This is the only thing we've got in that family. And so this is in the same family as the oranges. And um, that's what they were feeding on last year. We had caterpillars on quite a few of them at our There's place. a thorny yeah. ash too. There's no thorny ash. Yeah, yeah, there is still some open water, eh? It's weird. They oh! Get some seeds if you have them. Okay, what's that one there? The ever There's a cedar, white cedar here on the left. And just to the right, what have we got? Black. That's another hemlock. See how the branches sort of droop at the tips, especially up near the top? That's another way of telling a hemlock from a distance. More sugar maple. They, they're quite common around yeah, here, yeah, but you don't see them every day, but they're not that remember, hard to remember find. Remember in Algonquin, we but, saw them? Yes, yeah. we saw. So they make those big oval holes when they're feeding. Those aren't nest holes, they're feeding holes. Has everybody seen the picture of the woodpecker that wants to? Yeah, the male has more red. Has more yeah, what and a red mustache. The male is more brown. the holes? Yeah. That's an eastern hemlock. So look behind it there, next to the bank. What's that one with the peely bark? That's an easy one. Oh, that's actually not a bad guess, but that's yellow birch. So the bark is much more peely even than the black cherry. It's, it's not quite as peely as white birch, which I haven't seen any of. Insects, like most flycatchers, so there's no insects here in the winter, so they go south. And they go Phoebe! They do. Eastern Phoebe, huh? Phoebe! Okay, here you can see what some insects do for the winter. Do Phoebe's migrate? Yeah, they do. They don't go really far south, but down into the southern U.S. anyway. See these cocoons? Those are tent caterpillar cocoons. Cool. Not really. But there, you can see that. So that's how they last the winter. They last the winter is uh, their cocoons. Listen, another listen. Another uncool thing. Listen. <laughs> See these here? Yeah. These sort of fuzzy looking masses? Yeah. That's gypsy moth, mat, egg masses. Ah. And there's some old cocoons up here too. But So that's how they winter. They lay their eggs in the summer. They're an invasive. They've defoliated forests in eastern Ontario 20 years ago. They aren't doing that anymore. I'm not sure why. I think they're just, some of our predators have probably learned to switch over and feed on them for diseases or something, but uh, anyway, obviously still some here. So they lay their hey, grasses in the, in the summer and they winter over, you know, hatching the caterpillars in the spring. We were just looking at, there's an ash on the far side there um, with the smooth gray bark at the top. It's a bit hard to show it to you from here. Yeah, and that was growing on what? Choke cherry. Choke cherry, yeah. I said choke cherry twice. No, and then you go find it. Um.